Welcome to the product video that introduces the Foyt Turcon DTM steam turbine controller. This video will show you just how powerful and flexible this controller is. The controller is very well suited to most industrial steam turbines of all power classes. Foyt has more than 30 years of experience in the control of industrial steam turbines. Foyt tailor-made control systems have proven themselves for many decades in power plants and process critical systems, for example, in the chemical and petrochemical industries. These experiences led to the development of the Turcon DTM, a compact digital controller. The DTM has standard industrial proven hardware and the software is consistent for all applications. The HMI is both user-friendly and modern. You configure, set the parameters and operate the controller on a 7-inch TFT LCD control panel with touchscreen. You'll now see just how simple everything is. After switching on, the home screen appears on the LCD panel. The user interface is divided into three areas. You will always find the function field at the top. It contains buttons for important functions and messages. In the middle, you can see the large display area. You can navigate quickly through the various menus using the buttons below. First, we will log in. Multi-level password protection provides high operational security. We'll select the expert user, who can perform all operating and setting functions. Let's start with configuring the turbine system. We can see the current controller configuration in the P&I diagram. This is the maximum configuration for a two-stage steam turbine with live steam pressure control, extraction pressure control, and back pressure control. A generator is coupled to the turbine. We can see the associated configuration setting here. Let's now set the minimum configuration. We find the illustration of the minimum configuration again in the P&I diagram. We see a simple speed control with internal setpoint. We then go back to the configuration and select the appropriate limiters. In the minimum configuration, only the limiter for the maximum speed can be selected. All the other functions can be configured and have their parameters set in the following menu items. Now we start the turbine. In the P&I diagram, we can see what is happening. We press the speed controller function button. A pop-up window containing various buttons appears. Before the start, we choose whether this is to be a cold or a warm startup. In addition, we can enable an overspeed test in this window. The speed set point can be changed manually using the up and down buttons. This is done, for example, for an overspeed test or to synchronize a generator. We now press the start button. The turbine then runs up to its rated speed. To shut the turbine down, we press the stop function button and then the stop button again in the pop-up window. Another helpful function is the archiving of status, warning and alarm messages. With this function, faults in your process or system can be quickly detected and corrected. Pending alarms and messages show red or yellow blinking LEDs on the messages button. We see the messages when the button is pressed. The Turcon DTM automatically saves the last thousand messages. We access all of these messages using the archive navigation button. Finally, let's look briefly at the PLC navigation menu. There is a menu item called Save and Load Parameters. In this menu, you can save all the configuration and parameter data onto a memory card. Another Turcon DTM controller can reload and use the entire dataset.
This overview is only a brief summary of the vast capabilities of Foyt Turcon DTM. Regardless, if it's for a new built or retrofitting an existing turbine, the Turcon DTM controller is state of the art. A strikingly good price performance ratio and high operational reliability have a positive effect on your total cost of ownership. Let's talk and together we'll find the best solution for the actuators and control system of your steam turbine. Foyt. Engineered Reliability.